Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some custom hero clash, which is a cool game that we used to play a lot of, and I thought we could play a game of it today. Also, I have a new thing. Don't freak out. I know there's a lot of you that are currently freaking out because literally anything slightly changed. It's it's just a piece of furniture. <laughs> you will be okay. <laughs> we can make it through this together. Anyway, let's get ourselves into the game. Okay, so this mode has a new ban feature, which I think is really cool. Oh, I wanted to ban Shadow Realm. Okay, then I'm gonna ban, ban Borrowed Time. Everybody gets to like just ban an ability, which I think is super sick. Because that means we don't have to deal with like broken nonsense abilities anymore, right? Or at least not as much. I don't think we actually managed to ban all of the broken nonsense abilities, but we got rid of a bunch of them, which is really nice. I'm very happy about that. I think that's great. All right, now we need to pick a hero. Um, Sansa? Probably not, right? Like, do we like Sansa? Let's get rid of Sansa. Lich is mildly interesting. We could play Summons. Summon Wolves? Lycan? I feel like we played that the last time we played this mode. I don't know. I don't remember. But I think I'm down for it anyway. I like summons. Summons are fun. Let's play summon wolves lichen. Get this. Uh, do we need howl? Hmm. Howl seems a little unnecessary. Like we've got... but So we don't need howl, right? But like feral impulse is okay. No, feral impulse is maybe okay. I'm actually not sure how that works. All right, okay, um, let's re-roll this. There's Feral Impulse, that's the one. No, I'm getting my Serpent Ward. That is sick! All right. Okay, uh, really quick, in case you don't know how this mode works, uh, we fight Creep Waves, look at them. We build a hero, as you see, we've already started building a hero. And we duel each other, and we gamble on the outcomes of those duels. And that's it. It's not that complicated of a mode, to be honest. Like, it's got a lot to it. There's a lot of, like, meat to it, but the core idea of it is fairly straightforward, right? You see these two now duel each other. And we get to pick something here. Immunity, damage barrier, parry. No, I, I would like something that is summon-related. Slippery Squad, Bulky Band. Your summons have 150% health, 15 armor, 30% magic resistance. Or 35% evasion movement speed status resistance, and your summons have the same. And what else? Grants faced movement speed and removes the movement speed limit. Soul Link as well. 100% of your damage is converted to healing for your summons, and 100% of your summons damage is converted to healing for you. Oh man, we've got some good options here. Like, we can make them bulky, we make, can make them evasive, or we can make them heal us. The bulky band makes them have 150% extra health. Which is, like, quite a lot. That's that's a good amount of extra health, right? Ooh, tricky one. What's this? Extra agility? Ooh. I mean, right now, I think this guy wins, but... Kind of comes down to what the Weaver is doing. The Weaver has any shenanigans coming up here. Self matter? Not for the wards. It doesn't matter for the wards. Soul Link is nice. It's like really good survivability. Let's just get Soul Link, right? Wukong's Command. Are these summons? No, they're not summons, right? That seems kind of useless. Alright, so probably not going for Wukong's Command. I don't want to get Howl. I just don't see a point to it. Timber Chain, Guardian Sprint. Ice Wall, Storm Surge, Sinister, Sinister Gaze, I guess, actually, right? Like, it's a Disable? It's not the worst thing to just have a Disable. Wait, I need, I need, quick, 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 fuck. Helm of the Dominator? Alright, we'll, we'll just buy the bits and pieces that we can. Hello! Alright. Oh, that didn't do anything. Well, I guess we'll just have to punch it out. <laughs> yep. No, we'll just have to punch it out. That's fine. I think we win. No problem. No problem. Super sick. Alright, get summon wolves. I have some stuff I need to do over here. 
Uh, let me check really quick. Do we have anything else like summon related? Sprinter, War Veteran? Uh, I think one thing that is summon related is just getting more stats, right? That's good. And 27% evasion. That's actually kind of filthy, isn't it? All right, we get ourselves Helm of the Dominator. This makes our summons much more powerful, which is great. All right, we like our summons being much more powerful. We'll get Mass Serpent Mort. That's a god tier ability. This honestly will just make us cruise for most of the early game. And then we've got Feral Impulse. Uh, that was one that we wanted, right? So we'll pick up Feral Impulse because I'm, I'm curious how this actually affects my summons. I don't know if it's actually going to make him that much more powerful or not. Uh, plus 36. Yeah, I need to try out the new summons. Okay, then we've got Monkey King with Healer versus uh, the Tarot Blade with Contradiction. Burns mana, pierces deep of immunity. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be the Monkey King because like Healer is actually just really, really good defensively in the early game. It just keeps you alive. That's what it does. I mean, it's Healer, right? Okay. So those may are already our upgraded walls. It's fine. All right, Monkey King, don't let me down. I mean, it's looking unlikely. Bonk. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's make some money. Patch, who's got nothing, versus uh, the Invoker, who's got Sticky Napalm with a damage over time build. Now, I, I feel like this might not be the most controversial decision. But, uh, yeah, I will go with this one. Alright. So the summons do scale just as we scale. Right, as we get more powerful, the summons get more powerful. Which is nice. Uh, how does this damage work again? Like, is this... No, their base damage does go up, right? Alright, and Walker did end up winning. Good job, buddy. And then we've got Nail versus this Slark. Ultimate Orb is really expensive. Nails using Giant Strikes. So Giant Strikes Dream Coil is filthy. But you need Aghanim Scepter. He doesn't have Aghanim Scepter. Um, oh, yeah. I didn't gamble. I should have gambled even a little bit, right? Like, even if you don't know, even if you aren't sure at all, what you should always do is gamble a tiny amount. And if you're not sure, if you have no idea who to gamble on, you gamble the smallest amount you can on the target that you think is more likely to lose. And if you don't even know that, right? Just like, just take, just take a chance. Who knows? Well, less that you're picking the targets more likely to lo lose and more that you pick the target that you think is more likely to um, not be the popular choice. Because then you have a chance of like winning those gambles against all of those people. Do we want shapeshift? Yeah, right? Makes our summons filthy. Uh, it's kind of silly. We are mostly just Lycan, but uh, Lycan is good, I guess. Lycan is a pretty good heal. That's that's it. He just got things under control. So the 41 is where they add baseline. All right, helm of, helm of the Overload, Lord. I really don't know if this actually works properly. I guess I could try by unequipping my helm. That would be the one way we can kind of figure this out, right? So right now, 51 plus 156, unequip this. 51 plus 46, so this adds 110 right now. That didn't tell me anything. Except that I feel like they shouldn't have plus 46 damage. <laughs> because this is only, wait, because this is only 30% increase, right? I learned nothing. All right. I'm I'm just even more confused. Well, I guess that's me. Perpetually confused. 
Ooh. Terrorblade going hard. I really need to gamble a bit more. But I also actually would like to duel. The Zinvoka is constantly dueling. And I'm I'm just like, never. Come on. Like, let me get in there. Let me be part of this. Multicast is good. I oh, know. This dude is kind of tanky. Hello, I am Bounty Hunter, and I am telling you that you should leave a like on the video, or else I will steal all of your lunch money. Better be careful. I'm watching you. Alright, guys. Go get him. I'm not even really participating. No, okay, and Woko loses. That's, again, it's still better to take a bad gamble than not to take a gamble at all. So I don't mind. I don't mind one beat. Although, please get me into a duel. I'm so strong. Let me fight. That's all I want. Come on, let me get in there. Somebody's still clearing these? Oh, disconnected, I guess. Interesting. This is a neat mechanic. Stalling. Reduces the amount of gold given from finishing the round. To just kind of like push people to actually end the rounds. That is neat. Okay. Oh. Disconnected, and now the AI has taken over. Alright. Hey! Oh, that's like the worst target for us. It's okay. We can do it. I This is quite possibly the worst hero we could be going up against. But I think we're still okay. I mean, the problem is really just the Frawling Thunder Freezing Field combo, right? That'll be an issue. But we're fast. We can might maybe outrun it. The arena is just kind of small. Hello. So you say. <laughs> is that Vina behavior? Maybe. Maybe it is. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> you gonna fucking sue me? <laughs> Gotta take the W, my friends. Gotta take the W. No Aghanim Scepter yet? There it is. I should have gone all in on Nail. I knew he was gonna get it. Yeah. I did a small gamble. I still got a little bit of money at least. Plus 200 health. Yes! I get to fight again! Let's go! Wait, this guy is really scary. Okay, it's fine. We've got a plan. Don't wait. We try to disguise it. Nah, fuck it. We just go for it. Alright. Hello. Have fun. <laughs> we, we just, it's okay. We're okay. We just summon our guys. Let them handle it. You know, we're part of the team. Well, maybe not, you know, in charge of the team, but we are part of the team. And isn't that what matters? We're the coach <laughs> sitting in the back line. What kind of coach are we? What kind of like sports anime coach are we? If I had to pick one, I would want to be the one, um... I would want to be the one from Haikyuu. And I would, I would, if I ever see the, the coach from, um, Slam Dunk, IRL, I'm calling the police. Because we're gonna have a fight. <laughs> somebody's, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna have a problem. <clears throat> Alright, take down these. It's annoying that they are invisible and so that they don't like automatically aggro. Okay, tricky one. 
gotta believe in Nail, right? Gotta believe in him. Nail has a cool combo. So, uh, Giant Strikes, what this does is it limits your attack speed, but it turns your attack speed into damage. Uh, and Aghanim Scepter, with uh, the Dream Coil, makes it so you attack at a set attack rate. Sick! And the attack rate is really fast, actually, so you just kind of go hard. What did the coach do? Can I spoil Slam Dunk? I think it's okay to spoil Slam Dunk, right? The coach for Slam Dunk in the, like, like the last kind of big, you know, game that they are playing in Slam Dunk. Um, our main character gets injured. And the coach just lets him keep playing, knowing full well that he's too injured to do it. And it's, like, kind of portrayed as this, like, going up against the odds and pushing when you can't anymore. Show being the being the best you you can be. It's, like, portrayed as that kind of thing where the coach lets him live his dream. And then uh, at the end of Slam Dunk, we see that our main character is now, has been in physical therapy for months and has been unable to play basketball as a result. And I'm just, like... What an ending! <laughs> what? That's so shit! I hate this coach now! <laughs> Why didn't you stop him from playing? Absolutely reprehensible, irresponsible behavior. <clears throat> Uh, at the end of Haikyuu, something sort of similar happens, except there, the coach, without question, without any, it's just like, you're out. You're out. He pull out, pulls out the MC, and that's where it ends. And it, in there, it's like a tragedy. And it hits so hard. And it's great, because later then you see that the MC does actually manage to, you know, become a professional volleyball player and all of that. He actually gets to live his dream. He doesn't just get... Spend the next year in physical therapy because the coach just somehow let him play after getting injured. Irresponsible behavior. Hate the coach from Slam Dunk. Anyway. <laughs> so now, now you know why we are why we don't like the coach from Slam Dunk. What a jerk. Come over here. What do we get? Hmm, I I don't know actually. It's kind of tough. There's lots of magic immunity, which helps a lot against the sticky napalm, right? Bear, but nothing to really do with the bear. Still, probably this guy. But I'm gonna go smaller. Can I set my creeps to auto attack? Does that work? I just want these guys to like be hitting, you know, going in. I should probably transform before the fight. Right? Just transform immediately. Okay. Because now, I go into the fight already in my wolf form. Why do you guys just like run into it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not trapping anyone with these wards. It's just like walking right into them every single time. I guess in a way it's got like a certain flavor, right? You're just like, I'll take you down from the inside. I'm not surrounded. I can attack it to every direction. Oh, probably this guy. I would be really surprised if the Spectre pulls this one off. Also, we got a shit ton of extra dudes now. Let's go. If you want to reach a good sports manga, if you want to read something good, read Haikyuu. Haikyuu is great. So good. Number one, best sports manga. I've read a whole bunch of them too. I've read a lot of sports manga. I like sports manga, and Haikyuu is the best one. Might be because I really like volleyball, but 
Also might be because IQ's fucking sick. Ah, uh, they still don't know to attack. Hmm. I guess. It is how it is. Uh, let's get ourselves extra abilities first. I gotta figure out what we're doing, right? Pierce the Veil? That seems okay, actually. Like, we, we, this is... This is good, yeah. I think that's good. I think I'm happy about Pierce the Veil. Kuroko no Basket better? No, it's not. Don't lie to yourself. Kuroko no Basket is not better. Don't deceive yourself, my friend. No need for Ghost Scepter then. Why? Isn't more ethereal better? Like... I feel like I feel like having double the ethereal is just double the fun, right? Okay, I gotta like rearrange the stuff a little bit. Um, this guy. Oh no! Why did I gamble so much money? Oh, I might regret this. Or I might be really happy about the out. No, go. Oh, that was so close. Let's go. How much did we make? 900. Oh, that wasn't even much. Just risked my entire life savings for this shit. Like, might as well have bought cryptocurrency. All right. Ah, I see. Okay, we just gotta go ahead and, like, use our ultimate for once. Let's actually try for, like, one time. Take this, take this. Uh, so, question. Do we replace anything? I feel like Sinister Gaze is kind of shit, right? Alright, now, Sudden Death. Losing a duel will now cost an Aegis or give you a loser's curse stack. Let's go. Got 10,000 gold. I should probably just like spend my money first of all, right? Like, uh... Alright, okay. I mean, probably get yours. Probably. That seems okay. Probably just get an A on this, too. I mean, I could try to do attack damage, but... I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't think we need to. Like, it's fine. We're fine. Like... Why would I need to actually deal damage myself? That's what I got the boys for. That's what the gang is here for. I don't, I don't need to do that. Okay, uh, but what do we buy next? Ooh, is there Vladmius? Oh, there's no Vladmius upgrade. What's it? the Helm of the Overlord? I guess we already have that, right? Uh, uh, Guardian Grace, Parasma. That seems kind of pointless. I should have gambled. <clears throat> Can turn on summon auto attack always in the more options thing. Can I? Summon all base. All base auto attack, please. Alright, okay. Let's see if that works. I kind of doubt it. Go get a mail. <laughs> Don't you dare throw my money in the gutter. I will blame you. I will blame you. We lose that. No! There goes, my, there goes my money. <laughs> that was actually a lot. That was like 2,600 gold right there. Well, guys, it doesn't work. So I just need stats, right? They only, they just scale with our stats.
Which means we really just need to worry about our own survivability. So I think I just, I buy an Octarine core. And then we just start buying stats. And that's it. I think that's my entire plan. I'm not even going to upgrade this. Because I think it's actually worse if I upgrade it. Go get him, summons. You know, I get the feeling that maybe... Um, maybe this wasn't as useful. I mean, it's good for fights, right? Like, it's good for duels. Because then I have a lot of healing. So it might be, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little torn, I'm a little torn. Maybe we should have gotten the other thing that makes my summons, like, bigger. Right, like, maybe, maybe we should have gone that way. I'm a little undecided. Go get him, friends. I'm gonna go ahead and, like, deal with some other stuff in the meantime. <laughs> nom nom nom, very good. Level up this. Oh. Glad I didn't gamble too much on that. I'm now at 100 gold earned through bets, so we're not doing great. Don't you just die? Is that the problem? Is that what's happening? I think he just dies, but we'll, we'll, we'll believe. We'll believe. Okay. Nope, he does, he does just kind of die. Damn it. Alright. I need to stop. I need to stop gambling, friends. I'm I'm in the red now. I'm in the red. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> we were actually doing so good on the gambling. We had a streak. It's fine. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. Do you not have a dispel? You don't have a way to punch through ethereal either, so you like literally are just surrendering, is that right? Okay. Yeah, cool. I mean, I don't even have to actually do anything. Don't even have to try. I want Aghanim's shard, right? Because it's like an item I can get. Oh, let's go! Forbidden item! Oh, forbidden item. Very exciting. I'm very excited for this secret power. I'm not sure actually, like, if with Ghost that there's gonna be that good, but like, I guess that's fine. Wait, if somebody has the uh, Revenant's Brooch. They can attack me if I'm ethereal, right? But they can they attack if they are ethereal? I always forget about that. By the way, what's the consensus on Revenant's Brooch these days? Do we like Revenant's Brooch? Is that an item that, that is good for Dota? Because I was watching, I was watching some clips from like a recent tournament, and I saw people like literally one-shotting late game carries like i saw a phantom assassin like two two hit killing a terror blade at 80 minutes into the game and i'm just kind of like that seems like not good that that feels like something that shouldn't happen you got doom holy shit all right with that wow i wasn't ready for doom at all I was not ready for that. <sighs> Terror Blade is weak to magic. It's not really weak to magic. I just feel like late game you shouldn't be able to like one shot kill a carry. Wait, maybe I can find the clip that I saw. I was on Reddit. One moment. Uh, where is it? Mm. All right, maybe I uh, maybe I don't know where it is. Where I've got these two. Well, this guy is like way bigger, right? 
Saw the Weaver free hit killing Terrorblade, but he had Divine. Well, yeah, but with a Divine, he wouldn't have been able to do that. Like, it was the Revenant's Brooch that did it. Alright, I don't know. If you guys if you guys find the clip, then please let me know. Oh, you guys gotta fight? Please, attack him! Oh no, I found it. Ah, ha, ha I have found it! Yes. Here, look. Look here, there's a Terror Blade. And there's free attacks. And there's no more Terror Blade. And I don't know about that! I don't know about that! <laughs> Feels like that should take a little longer. There you go. Come on. Hit him. Alright, let's buy this. Uh, what does my into again? Gives them damage, right? Actually, not so... So incredibly keen on getting the end. <laughs> um, this guy, right? Go get him, wolves! Very nice. Yeah, you should have used that from the beginning. That's like your strongest ability by far. Got him. Nice. Reroll the leash spell. Why? It's a disable. It's good. Do you guys want to get rid of Sinister Gaze? I like Sinister Gaze. I think it's alright. Hmm. They both have Doom. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess we need Lincolns. I guess we gotta get a Lincolns, my friends. I mean, because as it stands, I think we're... A high, high risk of getting doomed. Weaver wouldn't have gotten that kill without Rapier. No, he wouldn't have gotten that kill without the Revenant's Brooch. The dude could have had two Rapiers and he doesn't one-shot the Terror Blade like that. But if he's got a Revenant's Brooch, he gets the kill. You're completely misunderstanding what happened there. Alright, um... Oh, uh, man, I'm actually really glad I've got these, this, this healing effect now. It's fucking sick. Alright, I need my summons again. Go get him! Can I get a couple of hits in myself? Hey! Ha ha ha! <laughs> that is power right there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, sick! Yeah, second book, perfect. That's what I. That's what I wanted. You completely misunderstand my point too. The point is that the additional boost from Spellump on Brooch magic attacks makes it broken. I think they should remove that interaction and Brooch will be fine again. No, it's the fact that... <laughs> so you want them to change the rules on how magic damage works. You think Brooch isn't broken so long as you fundamentally change how magic damage interacts with spell damage. Uh, with Spellump. Number go up, streamer smile. Hey, Addis, Asta, thank you so much for the 16 months, right? So all we have to do to make sure that Remnant's Brooch isn't a broken item is we have to change the rules of the game. Then it's fine. Uh, I don't know about that. It sounds to me like it's a little broken. <laughs> it sounds to me like it's a little broken. <laughs> I gotta say, it sounds, it sounds like it's a, a little bit of a broken item. Alright, come here. Grab all of these. Ah, ha, ha, doom! Alright, we gotta stay away from this guy. But, like, as long as we stay away from him, he... Ah, but he's got annoying shit. Okay, that's annoying. I mean, I guess that would make sense. That's annoying shit. I don't think we need if you're all really... 
Alright, we transform ahead of time for sure. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, good. Can you not kill my dudes? I kind of need my dudes. Wait, what happened? What? <laughs> I am very confused. Am I dead? No. Yeah, I am dead. Is that Soul Link? All safe cast abilities are also cast on your summons. Holy shit, I didn't even read that. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, I think we got to replace Sinister Gaze and find ourselves a self-targeted buff. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Transform. No! This is so annoying! Alright, we got him. Alright, so this is like, this is not ideal, right? But like, okay. Get rid of this shit. Come on, be something. What can we do? Is there anything? These are not it, right? These do nothing? There's nothing here that self-targets. Oh, this is actually really good, though. Oh, this is really good. I guess I should probably get rid of like Pierce the Veil then. Hmm. Pierce the Veil seems less useful against the remaining heroes, to be honest. Like, it's actually not that good, I think. Oh, this is not it either. Alright, this guy is all physical damage. Ooh. Alright. Really important that we win this, actually. Super important. Hey! <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a concoction. I'm in stone form now. Alright. Go get him, wolves. Wait, here, never blast. Big money. Second never blast. Oh! <gasps> they killed him! <laughs> I didn't think that would kill him. <laughs> Is there anything here that we like? Not really, right? We can shadow word ourselves. That doesn't seem useful, but we could. Man, we're not getting it. Arctic Burn? I mean, Arctic Burn is a good ability, but it's not what we're looking for. Ooh, Shadow Dance. No, I do think we actually want the buff, right? Shadow Dance is better than Gravekeeper's Cloak, though. So I guess we just get rid of Gravekeeper's Cloak instead.
Damn it. Come on, we can do this. I'm not finding it. Wait, you killed all of my stuff! <laughs> well, that's not good. Alright, we've got a couple of seconds we need to stall. Oh! I see a small problem. Mm, not good, not good. Get him, 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 get him! It's not enough with it. Probably game for us, honestly. Summons don't recover well from having, like, having uh, one of those curses. Those curses really hurt summon builds. Alright, I gotta move this stuff around a little bit. So, our problem now is that our summons just kind of get killed, right? That's like, that's, that's the current issue. Not really sure what we can do about that. <laughs> I think, honestly, was that spinning circle? Has that been there the whole time? Well, I guess that's just the video with the spinning circle. Oh my god. Well, that's just what you're getting today. You're just gonna have to accept it. <sighs> Get rid of this. This doesn't really do anything. This is not it, right? None of this helps. Headshot? Great. That's what I needed. Thanks. I mean, we gotta just find something right now. You guys think this guy has detection? No, I don't think this guy has detection. New plan. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> My new plan didn't work. <laughs> you ate a gem? You can eat a gem? Man, I don't even know. Like, I'm just gonna throw down all of all that I've got, transform, and just fucking hope that the summons can somehow pull through. Oh, they did. Let's go. We're hanging in there. We are hanging in there. Wait, didn't Delta Noid win that last one? Alright. It's fine. We're gambling on the upset. <clears throat> Not circle though, it's gone. I already, I already disabled it. It's illegal technology. If you, if you noticed it, then it sucks to be you. If you didn't, you will forever less live in, in blissful ignorance, as you should. So I probably need to buy an item, right? Like, like something that's actually useful. Oh my god, am I gonna outlift Flair? I outlift Flair. Wait, am I winning? No. No, I'm not winning. That's that's not going that far. <laughs> I need I need something, right? I need something now. Oh, I got so excited for a moment. I almost thought we had it. We had something good. But we don't. All right, one more try, one more try. Come on, we can do this. Inner Beast, maybe. Is Inner Beast okay? They're still gonna just get fucking murdered, right? 
Wait, 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 extend. Quick. How am I not getting any freaking buffing things? Come on, literally anything! Living armor! We'll take it! <laughs> I asked for literally anything! That's what we got! <laughs> Living armor! Wait, no, I needed to self cast it! Fuck! Oh no, we didn't even get to do it! It would have made the difference. If we lose now, it's entirely because I messed up my living armor play at the end there. Living armor! Yeah! Big money! Look at them go! Alright, my wolves are getting murdered. If we didn't have living armor, how could we have possibly survived this fight? I mean, there's nothing, right? There's nothing we can find anymore. Yeah, we're out of summons. We're out of things. Let's just get Howl. So we can go into the night like a proper wolf. <sighs> GG, friends. Ah, second place was a good effort. It was a good effort. It just wasn't good enough. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> All right, we spent so much money re-rolling and we just didn't get it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.